All right, so we're gonna cover the carpet. I wanna cover it with plastic, and I'm also gonna cover it with a carpet protector so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but what we need to do is tape the carpet to protect it, and we wanna make sure that we drive the tape up underneath the baseboard. Okay, now I'm gonna be using masking tape. Um, you don't wanna use your expensive safe release tape here. It won't stick that well to the carpet, and in this scenario, it's just fine to use the masking tape. So rip off a piece. So rip off a piece and then you want to take it and you see how I'm kind of rolling it up a little bit onto the base. That's because I want to be able to shove that part down underneath the baseboard. So take your tape and then pull it back a little and then shove it down. And another way you could do that is you could take a putty knife and you can stick it up under there so you can force the tape up underneath it. Now uh, what I really like to do is take another piece of tape. And you'll notice it. I'm laying. You'll notice. <laughs> sorry. You'll notice that I'm laying it about an eighth of an inch in from the first layer. Okay, because I want it to go down and underneath the the baseboard a little bit farther. So again, pull it back a little, and then just drive it up underneath. Okay. So this gives you more rigidity, and it gets and it also keeps the paint from getting on your carpet down there. Okay. So that's how you want to tape up all the way around the perimeter. Right. So this is carpet mask. It is a plastic, a fairly thick, it's thicker than regular plastic. Uh, it has a sticky side and it's meant to go over the top of carpeting. Um, read the instructions if you decide to use this product. Uh, it mentions that you can't use it over certain kinds of carpeting, um, like wool. I have never ever had an issue with it, but if you're concerned, you know, make sure you test it if you decide to use this product. Um, I'm actually gonna do this room in plastic, but I wanna show you how the carpet masking works. Okay, so it comes in a roll. It's sticky on one side, and what you wanna do and I apologize for the noise this is gonna make, it's kind of obnoxious. And also, this stuff is not very much fun to use, but once it's down, once you kinda of get the hang of it, it's fine. And once it's down, it's a wonderful product to work over. It's thick, it handles traffic really well, it's easier to clean up, especially if you're gonna do some vacuuming. The plastic, when you, if you go to vacuum plastic, it'll just, you know, it just sucks up into the vacuum cleaner. So, so what you wanna do is take out a small piece, okay, and then this is, so again, apologies for the noise. And then what I like to do is you want to lay it down and you want to cover part of the tape, your masking tape, okay? And then what I like to do is actually take my knees and put it on the end of the mask so that when I go to lift it up, and I apologize again for the noise, when I go to lift it up, it doesn't come flying off of the carpet, okay? So I've got my knees on the end of the carpet mask and I'm going to pull it up. Okay, and just take out about two feet, and then I'm gonna lay it down. And one thing you wanna really make sure of, lay it down really loose, okay? You see how I got all these, yeah, I want it nice and loose on the carpet. And the reason you do that is because when you go to walk on it, if it's really taunt, it'll pull up, right? It'll stretch where you put your foot down, and it could pull your tape back up, okay? So, then get down on my knees, pull it up a little, and lay it down. Again, nice and loose, okay? And then you could cover, if you decide to cover the whole perimeter, and you could run another piece right next to it if you wanted to. Usually I'll run the heavier carpet mask around the perimeter of the room, and if I'm doing the entire room, then I'll just put plastic in here, because this is gonna take the majority of the, of the wear and tear, so. Okay, so that's how you lay it down. And then you wanna do one more thing. You wanna take another piece of masking tape, and you want to tape it down to the masking tape that you put down, okay? There you go, nice and loose. But you can see how nice and sturdy it is and handles up, handles up to traffic really well. It's a wonderful product to use once you use it. I'm gonna lay plastic down the carpet. I've got the perimeter all taped off, all right? And then I've cut a piece of plastic. This is directly out of the box before I've unfolded it. It's just wide enough to fit between the wall and there is a bed to my left here. So uh, I've got another piece. I've unfolded it behind me, so it's all ready to go. So I just want to show you how to lay it down. Uh, basically, you know, you just want to put it down next to the tape and then you're going to tape the plastic down to this piece of tape, okay? So let me just show you.
So it's a pretty straightforward process. Now the key here though is you don't want to you don't want to pull it really tight. Right? If you pull it really tight and tape it down, when you go to walk on this, it's going to pull. So leave it nice and loose. Lots of room so you can walk on it. It has forgiveness when you're walking on the carpet, okay? Then just take your masking tape, if you can find the end of the tape, okay? And then just tape it down. Nice and loose. Really straightforward. And then just work your way down. Make sure you've got lots of room for it to move around. Okay, and the same goes with the, I'm not gonna tape the other side of this, but if you did, again, don't pull it tight. Just leave it nice and loose, okay? And then tape it down on the other side again. So when you walk on it, it, it can't pull your tape up, okay? So it's a pretty straightforward process. Here's the floor cover. This is the carpeted floor covered in plastic. So a couple notes. Uh, remember to leave the plastic down nice and loose so you have room when you walk on it. It has room to move about and not pull your tape up. And that tape line in the middle there is where I taped two pieces of plastic together. So that's the best thing to do whenever you have overlapping plastic. Just tape them together. It's a lot easier to walk over.